Have you ever wanted to make your Minecraft server look more appealing? Or are you looking for a way to give your players a cleaner experience on your Minecraft server? Well today, I'll be showing you how to do both of these things for free by installing a plugin called Tap. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, as it really helps me help more people in the Minecraft server hosting community. Also, if you are interested in getting access to Feather Client for free, or need help with anything mentioned in this video, make sure to join my Discord server, where I'm currently hosting a Feather Client giveaway, and I always offer support to anyone who needs it there. With all of that out of the way, we can begin this tutorial by discussing the requirements to be able to set up this tab plugin. You'll need a Spigot Minecraft server of any kind with at least 3GB of RAM just to ensure that the server still manages to run smoothly with this plugin. Now, we can begin this tutorial by navigating to the first link in the video description, where you'll be taken to a page that looks something like this. From here, you'll need to scroll down until you see assets right here, and then click on the tab.jar file right here to download the plugin. Once you've downloaded this plugin, navigate to your server's plugins folder where you'll upload this .jar file. After this file uploads to your plugins directory, restart your server. Once your server has restarted, navigate back to your plugins directory, where you'll see a new folder called tab. Enter this folder, and once you enter this folder, you'll see these files. From here, you'll need to boot up Minecraft and join your Minecraft server, because now we have to configure the plugin to your liking. In order to configure this plugin properly, you'll need to use bucket color codes. If you've never heard of these before, the second link in my video description has an image of all the bucket color codes that you can use. Anyways, once you join your Minecraft server, you'll see something like this when you press the tab button on your keyboard, where the tab plugin is set up to a default configuration. Now, I'm going to show you how to configure different parts of this plugin, so if you are looking for how to configure a specific part of this plugin, check the video description for timestamps. Starting off, I'm going to be showing you how to configure the prefixes for your vault ranks and the ordering that they show up in the tab list. As you can see here, I've got a pretty basic lock perm setup right here, consisting of an admin rank, mod rank, content creator rank, and more. These roles all have their own individual prefixes set up, but yet when we press on tab, it shows a completely different prefix than what the rank has. Well, why is this happening? The reason for this is that our tab plugin has its own built-in prefix section, which we can edit by heading over to the group's YML file in our tab plugin folder. First off, if you just want to have tab show your ranks on users the way that you've configured it, you can just delete all of this text right here save your changes, and then run slash tab reload in game. After doing this, your ranks should work like normal. However, if you are looking to set up custom prefixes on your tab and above your head, you can configure them in any way you'd like. So for example, if you are looking to configure your rank called content creator, you'll edit this section right here to your rank's name, and then this section right here to change your rank's prefix in the tab, and this section right here to change your rank's prefix over their head. However you configure this, you'll still want to order your groups and your tab list. In order to do this, navigate to the config.yml file and scroll down to line 215. Once you've scrolled down to here, you can order your groups by the names of the groups right here. So if I wanted admin to show above moderator, I'd put admin above moderator and mod below admin. Now that this is done, it kind of finishes up the group part of this tutorial. We will now start configuring the physical tab list. To start off, make sure you have the bucket color codes pulled up somewhere. If you need to find them, you can locate them in the second link in the video description. Starting off, you can customize everything that you currently see in the tab list. Let's start off by customizing the server name at the top. Navigate to your config.yml file and at the top right here, you'll see the exact layout that our tab list is laid out in. From here, you'll just need to edit the words in the way you'd like with the bucket color codes. So, take for example, if I wanted to edit the server name up top to high purities SMP in red, you'd need to pull up the bucket color codes list right here and see which color code matches with the color you are going for. So in my case, this would be AND C. 
Then just place that color code right before the words that you want to type. So here I'll put and C high purities SMP. Then just save your changes and then navigate back to your Minecraft server, where once you run slash tab reload, you'll see the changes that you made in your config.yml file on your tab list. The final thing that you need to know how to configure are the animations that this plugin has. An example of the animations that this plugin has are the moving welcome thing at the top of the tab, the changing line between aqua and pink, and the arrows next to the time and date. Since this part is probably the most confusing, I'll show an example. Let's say I wanted to change the www.domain.com animation at the end of the tab list right here to just say my domain name, except it's just in red. In order to do this, I'll need to navigate to my animation.yml file, delete all of these except for one, and then inside the quotation marks right here, I'll need to put and C www.highpurity.cc. Then I'll need to save my changes, navigate back to game, and run the command slash tab reload. Then, as you can see at the bottom there, it shows my domain just in red. With this being completed, I've now shown you everything you need to know to configure this plugin to your liking. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure to join my Discord server, as I help everyone who needs help there. But thank you all so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.